function f of x equals one divided by the quantity x minus two plus four, we want to find the domain, range, horizontal asymptote, and vertical asymptote. Let's begin by determining the domain, which would be the set of all possible inputs or x values. When we have a rational function like we have here, it's easier to determine, it's easier to determine what values are not in the domain. So looking at a rational function, because division by zero is undefined, this function is undefined when x minus two equals zero. So the value of x that makes the denominator equal to zero must be excluded from the domain. So we'll solve the equation x minus two equals zero. Adding two to both sides, we have x equals two. So x equals two would make the denominator equal to zero, which means at x equals two, we have division by zero, and therefore two is not in the domain of the given function, which means the domain will be all real numbers except x not equal to two. To express the domain using interval notation, we'd have the open interval from negative infinity to two union, the open interval from two to infinity. This is the interval notation for all real numbers except x equals two. By determining the values that make the denominator equal to zero for a rational function, we can also determine the vertical asymptotes. Any value of x that makes the denominator equal to zero that does not also make the numerator equal to zero will give us a vertical asymptote. So because x equals two makes the denominator equal to zero but not the numerator, x equals two is the equation of the vertical asymptote. So the vertical asymptote is x equals two. If the x value made both the numerator and denominator equal to zero, we'd have a whole, not a vertical asymptote. Now let's go ahead and sketch the vertical asymptote x equals two, which is here. At this point, let's go to our graphing calculator and graph the given function. So we'll press y equals. I've already typed in the function to save a little bit of time. And notice how I have the denominator of x minus two in parentheses. To make sure we have the standard window, let's press zoom six. Looking at the graph, it does appear we have a vertical asymptote at x equals two. To verify two is not in domain, we can go to the table and make sure there's an error for the function value in x equals two. Let's first check the table set. So we'll press second window for the table set. Let's have the table start at zero, enter, change by ones, and we have both of these on automatic. So we'll press second graph for the table. And notice that x equals two, y one, or the function value shows an error because x equals two is excluded from the domain. Now let's talk about determining the horizontal asymptotes. The graph will have a horizontal asymptote if, as x approaches infinity or increases without bound, the function value approaches a particular value. Or, if as x approaches negative infinity or as x decreases without bound, again, the function value approaches some constant value. To help us determine this, let's go back to the graph so if we press graph, notice as the graph moves to the right, it does appear that the graph is approaching a particular y value or function value, and the same thing as the graph moves to the left. To help us determine what that value is, we'll use the table of values. Before we do that though, let's press second window for table set, and let's increase the change in the table to let's say 10. So we'll change this to 10, press second graph, and now we'll scroll down the x column and see what happens to the corresponding y values or function values. It doesn't take long to see that it appears that the y values are approaching positive four from values that are a little bit larger than four. So from here, going back to our work, we can say as x approaches infinity, f of x approaches positive four. Now see what happens to f of x as x approaches negative infinity or as x decreases without bound. So now we'll scroll back up the column and go into the negative values of x and see what happens to the corresponding y value or, or function value. Notice how the y values appear to still be approaching positive four, but now from values that are less than four, but it's still approaching the value of positive four. And therefore, as x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches positive four. And now we know we have a horizontal asymptote of y equals four. 
So we'll go ahead and record that here. Let's also sketch the horizontal asymptote. So we have y equals 4 as the horizontal asymptote, x equals 2 as the vertical asymptote. And now let's talk about the range, which is a set of all possible outputs or y values. Sometimes this can be a little bit tricky for a rational function, but if we analyze the given function f of x equals 1 over the quantity x minus 2 plus 4, notice as x approaches infinity, looking at just the fraction part here, we have a fraction where the numerator is 1 and the denominator is increasing without bound, which means this fraction is approaching 0 but never reaches 0, and then we're adding 4. So because this fraction can never be 0, because the numerator is the constant 1, f of x will never be equal to the value of 4. And the same thing is true as x approaches negative infinity. This fraction is still approaching 0, but never reaches 0, and then we add 4, so once again, the function value is never going to be equal to 4, which means the range will be all real numbers except y cannot equal 4. Using interval notation, the range would be the open interval from negative infinity to 4, union the open interval from 4 to infinity. Going back to the calculator and looking at the graph, notice how we do have a break in the graph here at y equals 4. Let's finish by graphing the given function on the coordinate plane here. So let's press second window, have the table start back at zero, and have the change in table be ones again. Enter, and second graph. Let's select a couple points that are easy to plot, and then we'll sketch the graph. For example, one comma three would be here, and three comma five would be here. That's really all we need because we know this piece is going to approach the horizontal and vertical asymptotes as well as this piece. So this piece of the graph would look something like this. And this piece of the graph would look something like this. We could find more points, but this is a pretty accurate graph by just determining the asymptotes and two points on the function. I hope you found this helpful.